Advanced Permissions allows you to easily give the right permissions to the right people in your Magento admin panel. Here is how this works. Let's say you are the head administrator of a large Magento store that sells everything, ranging from electronics to office supplies. In Advanced Permissions, we call such person Super Admin, and this person has unlimited rights within the admin panel. As the Super Admin, you can appoint other Magento admins using roles and assign permissions to them. In Advanced Permissions, such appointed admins are known as Sub Admins. Let's take a look at some examples. For instance, you have a brand manager who is in charge of a particular group of products in your Magento store. To give respective permissions to her, you will need to create a new role in Magento first. Let's call it Brand Manager for now. Next, we go to Role Resources and choose the resources that should be available to this role. Let's choose Manage Products and Update Attributes. This way, our brand manager Lucy will be able to manage the products we are going to assign to her. Now it's time to bring advanced permissions into play. Let us choose Limit Access by Store View slash Category and select Acer in each store view that has this category. Now Lucy will have access only to the Acer category within the specified store views. Next, we've got a setting that allows the sub-admin to update global attributes. What does it do? If you restrict access on the store view level, as it is the case in our case, the sub-admin won't be able to change attributes that are controlled on the global level. We are talking about such attributes as manufacturer and others. While Lucy is a brand manager and should be able to control the manufacturer's name, let's leave this option checked. Next, in Product Editing Permissions, we can block any product tabs we don't want Lucy to see. In Attribute Permissions, one can see all the attributes Lucy is allowed to manage according to the permissions we have just set. However, you can also control permissions for each attribute manually, if you wish. Just remember, if you choose Allow to Update Global Attributes during the first step, this will override any individual permissions that have to do with global attributes which you select here. Finally, in Product Permissions, we are going to allow Lucy to create products of all types. Once we've created the required role, we just go to Permissions, Users, and assign the role to a respective user. So, when Lucy logs into Magento using her credentials, she will be able to see only the products that belong to the Acer category, and the Inventory tab won't be available to her. You can easily clone this role and adjust it to your needs in the future. To do that, enter the role editing mode and click Duplicate Role. Let's consider another example. Imagine we have a website administrator, Keith, who is in charge of Fantastic Bytes, a website that sells computers under the roof of your Magento installation. In order to give Keith the required permissions, let's create a respective role for him. In Role Resources, we select All Resources, and then we move on to Advanced Permissions. There, we check Limit Access by Website. Let us also uncheck Allow to Manage Own Products Only, because we want Keith to be able to manage all products in his website. That's it. We just saved the role and you'll be able to assign it to another website admin, if you wish. Now we also have Marsha, who is the marketing manager at Fantastic Bytes. Let's say we need to give her access to discounts and specials in this website. To achieve this, we choose Promotions in Role Resources and use Advanced Permissions to limit her access to the respective website only. There is no need to look further into the settings because Marsha will only see the Promotions tab in the admin panel anyway. Last but not least, let us consider a situation when we need to assign permissions to a person in charge of a local store, let's say the admin of Fantastic Bytes France. Again, we create a respective role, give it access to all resources, and we use advanced permissions to limit access by store view. This time we choose Fantastic Bytes, French store view. So when Matthew logs into the admin panel, he will only be able to administer the French store view. 
Now that we have discussed how assigning permissions works, let's take a look at the extension's general setting. You find them under System, Configuration, Advanced Admin Settings. Here you can configure scopes of settings in just a click. For example, you can permit sub-admins to view the products they are not allowed to edit. Besides, you can choose to approve products or categories created by sub-admins before they go live. If you wish approval requests to be sent to a specific email, enter it here. If you leave these fields blank, notifications will be sent to your standard admin sales email. That's it! This is how Advanced Permissions helps you go granular while giving panel access to sub-admins in your Magento. Get Advanced Permissions today! A 30-day money-back guarantee applies.